Yes, this is not a Destiny 2 video, you're not seeing things, however it is something I tried over the weekend so I wanted to do an impressions video. This is based on the beta content so do keep that in mind. After Konami parted ways with Hideo Kojima and the somewhat success of Metal Gear Solid 5, it seems directions were turned to where Konami could take the Metal Gear franchise. With the story concluded and Snake dead, the prequels having been done to an abundance, what more was there for Konami to do with the license? Enter Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Survive is a survival action adventure game set in an open world environment and played from a third person perspective much like its predecessors. Metal Gear Survive features cooperative multiplayer which is the mode available in the beta with the single mission type salvage. As well as the salvage mission there will be a host of other missions available for the players to complete on the game's release. It can also be played solo in which the player will be accompanied by three AI teammates which the player can give orders to. Gameplay even single player needs an internet connection at all times, much like The Division, Destiny and Warframe. The game will feature microtransactions, however the virtual currency can also be acquired by playing the game according to Konami. So when you start the beta, you get to create your character avatar that you'll be using playing the game. The options are quite extensive, from face selection to hair colour, eyebrows and more. It seems no exception was made here, allowing you to customise your character exactly how you would like to see it. Which is nice to see, because not many games out there right now pay this type of attention to their character creations. I'm looking at you Destiny, and I'm also looking at you Final Fantasy. The beta has you land in a lobby type area which actually does look nice, with many nodes that allow for different things. From training to crafting to levelling up, it's all achieved here in this hub area. In the beta I tried both the single player and matchmaking salvage games. Single player felt rather devoid of fun, but the multiplayer cooperative actually worked well. I had a lot of fun with the whole defence fortress style gameplay. Progression is done in a simple way, currently only survivor is available as a class, but I expect more to be available on game launch. You level up using Cabrins which are earned by playing the game. Each level requires more cabrons as you level up. Simple, but works. Salvage is a simple mode, you have a contraption that digs at a specific point, then you simply set up barricades, traps and anything you can craft within your arsenal from the materials you have to block the way of the crystal zombies. Sound familiar? It should, it's pretty much defence fortress. The items are single use, including bullets, it's actually really well done and if it had any other name attached to it, I think it would have been taken a lot more seriously. However, this isn't Metal Gear, it's even less Metal Gear than Metal Gear Solid 5 and that's saying something. Overall the game plays fine and in multiplayer, even matchmaking, it works really well. Solo was pretty tame and honestly not entertaining. Based on the beta, I would say it's not worth the full price. The, the game promises a solo single player experience however it will not be the Metal Gear we know and love, it's just an extension of the multiplayer experience. Think Left 4 Dead but with the tower and defence complex and you're almost there. It's worth 15 to 20 pounds and if it comes out at that price, it's a good deal based on the beta. Anything more would require exploration of the actual game modes. If you enjoyed or found this useful, please leave a like and if new, subscribe. I'll leave you with the rest of the gameplay and see you in the next video. Peace.